All right, we're here with Marwell Cards. He has an insane Type 1 photo collection. He's gonna tell us all about it and his favorite piece. What's up, guys? This is Merlin from Marwell Cards from Los Angeles, California. Check me out on Instagram. Anyway, I just started getting in the Type photos, Type 1, 2, 3, 4. There's four of them. Um, they're all kinds of craziness. And I didn't know what I was buying at first. I saw the the great curator started buying some it's cool ones but last year i think the first ones i ever bought was here at the national last year in atlantic city i bought some johnny cashes that i thought were pretty cool and the backs even told a story sometimes the backs are better than pictures so let me tell you all about type one photos and we're just saying type one but actually there's type two three and four and a lot of times they're labeled with the number i bet the letter but you can still type in like type I or type one or type double I and two and three and four. So type one comes from the original negative from like real original photographs and it has to be made within two years of the negative made. And then type two is after two years. So most of the time those photos are taken, they're developed and then they're sent to the press publications or whatever. So they're gonna have information on the back about the photographer, who they are, who the archivist was, the library that were archived at, there's usually a stamp for it. Um, they write the subject matter, and a lot of times they'll have a piece of a clip to one of the newspapers it got um, published in. That's all they need, and when you see that stuff on the back, so that's why they don't get graded, because the more crap on it, the more desirable they are, believe it or not. So the more junk on it, the better they are. And then type three is uh, from the reprint negative and it has to be made within two years with just like type one and type four is made after two years just like type two from that reprint negative and usually because of that the quality is not as strong as type one and two and they're also on a, um, a thinner cardstock because the chemicals they use for it are, um, are a little weaker and they don't have to use all the strong chemicals so the quality is not as strong of a presence as the type one and two. And since now we're in the digital age, that I didn't know that they um, authenticated, PSA that is, authenticate uh, digital photos. So I sent in some Taylor Swift headshots from 2008. But guess what? They do authenticate digital photos, but all digital photos I found out are labeled or classified as type three only. Not one, two, or four, only type three. So here is my favorite one, and I had no clue. I thought this could have been a type three or one or two. I had no clue. And this is Prince, and this was his uh, one of his first concerts in St. Paul, his hometown, Minnesota. And this is the beginning of the Purple Rain Tour, 1984. This photo was taken in 84. This is the original photo. And on the side here, it has a caption that the reporter, the photographer, wrote down saying that's all about the tour and how ministers in Minnesota were picketing his concerts because they thought he was, you know, part of the devil and sinful because he had sexually explicit lyrics in his uh, Purple Rain music. And I love Prince. And on here on the label, if you see here, it says original photo proof Prince, United Press International, which is a uh, newspaper publication company. And it also says one of a kind. So that's a one of one, folks. This is the only original type one photograph of this Prince photo. And if you see on the back, like I said, you see the photographer's information or the archivist. There's a piece of the clip of the photo with a uh, dated stamp on it and it has like the subject matter on it. I think that's a photographer too. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, here's, a, this is a type three. So these are like press photos. They make for movies and for musicians. That's a type three. Here's the Taylor Swift that I talked about, which was the digital. See, there's nothing really on it. It's plain. And it's a type three, because it even says digital. You see that, digital yep. photograph? Yeah. Um, this Kiss. Uh, photo is taken from 1977 and this is a type 3 so I'll get this slab if I don't sell it because it's beautiful but if I had to type one of this one we're talking about maybe ten thousand dollars for this photograph but it's probably like in Gene Simmons you know basement or something or Paul Stanley's unfortunately and then here's a godfather and this one is actually press photo from the original movie from 1972 with Marlon Brando and Robert Duvall. I loved it and everybody loves The Godfather. It's a, cl it's a classic. 
And again, it's probably like in um, the studios. This probably is like on the wall with all the big time executives, right? Or Francis Ford Coppola's basement too. And that, if I had the real type one photo of that, we're talking about at least $50,000 as well. Paul McCartney right here. I'm gonna get that slab funnel sale. The biggest sellers um, right now, believe it or not, aren't really athletes or sports. It's actually a uh, pop culture. And we're talking about like NASA photos, like um, rockets in space of like the moon landing. If you see any ones that are type one with like the moon, the earth, rockets in space, uh, the man on the moon, grab them. Um, they're gonna look like this. This is a Saturn moon, but a type one is gonna have NASA stamp in blue like this. And they archive it themselves. And uh, this Run DMC, old school hip hop is super popular. I've sold over $2,000 worth of old school hip hop this week. And also classic rock. This is type one slab of Van Halen with the Scorpions and the Universal Monsters at Universal to promote their tour back in 1988. This is David Byrne from the Talking Heads. This is a type one, see the beautifulness of it. And see, it's, it's smear, but no, nobody cares about that. That adds to the character. They don't take away from that. This Nirvana one's type three. This other Nirvana's type three. And again, that's probably like in Dave Grohl or the photographer's wall somewhere. Because if I had that type one, we're talking about $100,000, folks, for that photo. And uh, this is a type four, a Star Wars. See how bad quality that is? But still, it has a lot of press information on it, which still makes it kind of cool. And this was sent in 1983 to promote um, Star Wars Return of the Jedi, even though this photo was originally taken in 1977. So that makes this a Type 4. It came from the reprint, and it was taken two year, more than two years after the original reprint negative. And this was sent to Central American, South American um, papers. So there you go. These are Type photos from Andre the Giants, Type 3, 1984. But again, I feel like Type 3 is going to blow up because these are going to be in more people's uh, collector's price range because nobody can really afford $50,000. So might well as get the second best thing. So start buying your Type 3. Look in flea markets. Look at your newspapers, local newspapers. See if they've got any Type 1 photos laying around because believe it or not, they don't know what they even have. I've talked to my friends who are um, photographers. They didn't even know what type one were. Go to flea markets to look for these things. You can find them for nothing right now. Get them before people discover. I'm giving you this free information because probably no one's watching this. So I'm telling you this for free, guys. Go and have some fun. See y'all later. This is Merlin. Don't tell them anything. Don't tell them anything.